The third generation Ford Escort made its debut for the 1997 model year, sporting an all new aerodynamic design and serving as a replacement for the outgoing model, which had been on sale since 1990. Continuing with the platform shared with Mazda, it eventually spawned a sporty two-door model that targeted import tuners. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the third generation Ford Escort, a popular compact car that targeted buyers looking for contemporary good looks, competent handling, slick ergonomics, and a smooth ride at a fair price. So grab some cranberry juice, kick back, and let's get down to the nitty gritty. The second generation Ford Escort made its debut in April 1990 for the 1991 model year. Ford introduced the second generation Escort, bringing back the previous three door and five door hatchbacks, not to mention the five door station wagon. Adopting mechanical commonality with the Mazda 323, the Escort was virtually the American market version of the third generation Ford Laser which made its debut in 1989 and sold in markets such as Japan and Australia. Keep in mind, for the North American market, the 323 sedan became the protege, while the hatchback retained the 323 name. While the Escort was offered in hatchbacks and wagons, a sedan variant would eventually join the lineup in late 1991, sharing components with the Mazda protege sedan. It was also around this time when talks began regarding a future successor for the second generation Ford Escort. 1992, development for the third generation Ford Escort began. Fast forward to 1993, the final design would be approved this year. The redesigned Escort would continue to ride on the 98.4 inch wheelbase chassis of the second generation model which was derived from the Mazda 323. The second generation car adopted the Mazda B platform for the North American market, the chassis which was also utilized by the Mazda 323. The upcoming third generation car would do the same and integrate the B platform into its design as well. With all of the improvements being made, the new car would yield 25% more torsional rigidity and contribute to a more solid and stable feeling vehicle. 1996, production for the third generation Escort began with assembly taking place in Wayne, Michigan. All in all, the Escort displayed sleek new sheet metal and a more sophisticated look. The new third generation car grew approximately 4 inches to 174.7 inches in overall length. There was a slight increase in width and a slight decrease in height which contributed to an additional 8 cubic feet of interior space. Despite the altered dimensions, the new Escort stayed true to the compact size class and was classified as such by the EPA. Despite the new design, the Escort was not a new car from the ground up. This redesigned model still shared the same basic floor pan and as we mentioned earlier, the chassis as well as drivetrain was essentially a carryover from the prior 1991 to 1996 car. The third generation Ford Escort went on sale in 1996 as a 1997 model. Ironically, the new for 1997 Escort offered more interior space than the Pricer Contour at 99.1 cubic feet and 89.4 cubic feet, respectively. Many prospective Contour buyers complained about its lack of rear seat space. The Escort, however, shined in this area by matching the Contour's headroom while providing approximately 4 inches more hip room. While the previous generation offered a 3-door hatchback, 4-door sedan, 5-door wagon, and 5-door hatchback, the new 3rd generation only offered a sedan and wagon at launch. A sporty 2-door coupe would later join the lineup. The previous generation's 1.9 liter engine that wheezed out 88 horsepower was upgraded. The Escort sedan and wagon now used the single overhead cam 2 liter inline 4 as standard equipment powering the front wheels. This engine generated 110 horsepower. The new Escort's higher horsepower was balanced with an additional 17 pound feet of torque. The trick was a split intake manifold that included four small separate ports that routed fuel and air into the cylinders faster at lower revs. Now that's intelligent engineering. 
Upon its launch in 1996, the Escort was available in two trims, Base and LX. For 1998 and throughout its production, it came in LX and SE trim levels. The Escort wagon was dropped from the lineup after 1999. 2002 would be the final model year for the Escort sedan, but continued to be sold as fleet and rental cars only. The final third generation Ford Escort rolled off the assembly line in June 2002. A sporty two-door coupe variant spawned to complement the Escort sedan and wagon. It will sport a radically different design language than its more conservative counterparts. The Escort ZX2 coupe's front wheels were powered by the 2-liter 130 horsepower ZTEC dual overhead cam 4-cylinder engine. This power plant was standard equipment and was not offered on the sedan or wagon. Intended for use as the base engine in the larger European Ford Mondeo and its American counterparts, the Ford Contour and Mercury Mystique, the ZTEC gave the ZX2 brisk performance. Speaking of the Ford Contour, check out our episode on that particular model for all of the details. The ZX2 was available with a sport model. This model was virtually an appearance package, adding 15-inch aluminum alloy wheels a rear deckless spoiler, and unique trim items to the standard ZX2. Although the suspension tuning was the same between the base and sport models, the latter trim added a more aggressive set of tires. The sport package was also available for the sedan. Even though the ZX2 utilized the same basic suspension as the sedan and wagon, it was retuned to provide a firmer feel and sportier handling. ZX2's brand positioning is that it's a sporty, fun to drive, uh, contemporary styled vehicle that is also very affordable. Despite being a coupe, the ZX2 almost matched the sedan in terms of size. The ZX2 was a bit longer, lower, and even wider than the sedan, but its dimensions were all within one inch of the sedan. A new, performance-oriented edition, otherwise known as the ZX2 SR, made its debut at SEMA's Import Auto Salon in Pomona in 1999. This model was the result of the exceedingly popular and successful import tuners of that era. The ZX2 SR was intended to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with factory performance sport compacts such as the Honda Civic Si, among others. The optional SR package came with a slew of upgrades, but most notably it added stiffer suspension components, an increase in power, a special wheel and tire package, not to mention a short throw B&M shifter. The power figure was now up to 143 over the standard ZX2's 130. There were some SRs that left the assembly plant without some of the performance mods. The suspension bushings were not factory installed. However, it was packaged with the car and intended to be installed once the car arrived at the dealership. Unfortunately, this caused many cars to leave the dealership showroom without having all of the necessary SR parts installed. Despite those occasional hiccups, many SR owners loved their cars, mentioning them being fun to drive with the extra power and the slick shifter. For the relatively low price tag, many owners mentioned their cars were reasonably quick. Although its days were numbered, the standard ZX2 continued, getting a revised front fascia for 2003. Although the ZX2 had some popularity, by the end of the 2003 model year, production ended. The final ZX2 rolled out the assembly line on March 21st, 2003. Nevertheless, the third generation Ford Escort was well received and proved successful. This popular compact was a perennial on the list of America's top 10 best-selling cars. Let us know if you've driven or owned a third generation Ford Escort. I almost never see any ZX2s on the road these days. And if I do see a sedan, it's few and far between. As always, thanks for coming out to the show and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Until next time, this is your host Rob and thanks for tuning in to Antique Tags. Music